welcome everyone to a new tutorial. We're going to do an Easter cross today using dotting tools and a few paint brushes. When I was designing this I uh, sketched out a cross on a piece of paper and I knew I wanted to add some butterflies so I made several copies of it and then just used my pens and pencils to color it in because I really couldn't decide on the color combination. I looked at pictures of flowers and pictures of butterflies and some stained glass examples and um, just kept playing with it until I found something that I thought would work. On this one I'm doing a background in this cream tone, letting that dry and I sketch the cross on there and the template will be on my Facebook page. And then I added um, some paint in blue tones with a sponge and cleaned off the edges with a Q-tip and that gave me sort of a faded look background like a, a blue sky. And I'm tracing a paper butterfly onto the edges of the cross and I'm going to paint that in with some black satin paint, a small brush and let that dry. And after that was all dry, I used a ruler to find the center of my 12 by 12 canvas. And then I also used a ruler to um, sketch some guidelines on the outside to make a square. And then I used my embroidery hoop to do a large round circle behind the cross. So I mixed up some Amsterdam acrylics here to do my orange and sort of a yellowish gold for my butterfly. I mixed in some Liquitex pouring medium and golden fluid titanium white and just kept mixing back and forth with my brush until I had the two colors that I wanted. And I wanted it to be pretty thick paint because I knew I was going to do this swiping technique with it. So to do this you just want to load up your first dot with a lot of paint and then drag it toward you and then I drag a second one and let those two points connect and then I did two very small little swipey things here on the edge of the butterfly wing and then another long one and then I did the same on the other side and it doesn't really matter the pattern you're doing on these butterfly wings as long as you do the same thing on both sides I looked at some pictures of monarch butterflies and saw that they had kind of this uh, pattern on their wings. And I'm switching over to the orange and I'm going to load up that first dot. I think three times I load it with paint to make a nice big dot that I can drag. And drag it down toward the center of the butterfly and then drag a second dot over and then a third dot. little swipes of, cor of color on the upper corner and then I just combined those three swipes and then again doing the same thing on the other side loading up that first dot with lots of paint so you have enough to drag and you want to use pretty freshly mixed paint to do this if the paint's been sitting there a while it's not going to want to drag very well It reminds me a lot of, of frosting sugar cookies <laughs> and decorating them. So now I've got my white paint and I'm going to fill in with white dots. This is very indicative of monarch butterflies. They have these lovely white spots on the edges of their wings. They're really such amazing creatures. I wanted to have them in this design because they're a, they're a symbol of resurrection. When the uh, caterpillars are born, um, the, between the time that they're born and the time that they form their cocoons, they grow about 3,000 times in size. And then in their cocoons, they completely liquefy and uh, change. They have to grow a thorax and an abdomen and legs and wings, and, and they come out a completely different creature. 
So uh, now I am filling in here with the gold around the ring. And then I'm going to get the Golden Fluid Iridescent Gold, a metallic paint, to outline the cross with small gold dots. Trying to make them all the same size. And I did walk the dots up to the point of each branch of the cross. And then I put a larger gold dot on the very end. And I'm also putting a gold dot in the middle of the cross. We'll be painting that at the very end. I put some gold dots on each of the four uh, outside edges of the cross as well. And then put a triad of gold dots right at the point. I combine these two paints uh, to do my walking dots on the outside edge of the mandala. This is just filling in the space that's uh, left at the end of the cross. I did two rows of the darker aqua and then one row of the very pale. Did that on both sides of the tip of the cross. And then I also filled in the space to the side of that. You can see how they are, both sides of that are sort of pointing the same direction to the edge of the circle. And I just filled this space in with a couple rows of that lighter pale aqua color and did this all the way around on both sides. This has a wonderful, almost mosaic effect. And I combined these two paints and I painted in with a small brush the corners of this design in this almost a periwinkle purple and let that dry. And now I'm filling in the sunrise in the back here. I'm using a dotting tool and I'm starting with orange, kind of medium-sized dots. I'm going to use the same tool. I'm just mixing in a little bit of yellow here into that orange paint. Do another couple rows. And then I added a little white just to lighten that down a little bit. In the same size tool there and now I move to a smaller size tool with an even lighter shade and then finally out to white and I decided to leave the rest of that just that cream color I wanted this to be a, a very soft look now I'm outlining the inside of the square with white dots I couldn't really decide what I wanted to do with the corners. I knew they needed something, but I wasn't sure on the shape. So again, I waited until this all dried. I put it on my printer, made a copy of it, and then I just experimented on the corners to see what I liked the best. And I decided to do kind of a corner flower shape using these three paints. First I did a, a large white dot, walked some small white dots around that. And then this beautiful pale purple called Eclipse. And then the calico blue. I'm sorry, that was yellow out to blue out to Eclipse, that's right. And then walked in some white dots toward the center. And again, I'm finishing the outline in the white dots. And I also decided to put the caterpillar body on the inside of the butterflies. So first I did four white dots, let that dry, and then I did um, four black top dots on that. Got a really good look at these uh, insects and that's kind of what their bodies look like. 
And then I decided to make the Rose of Sharon in the center of the cross, which is a beautiful blue or blue-purple flower that grows in Israel. So I started with 16 white dots around the center and then a very, very pale blue offsetting that row, adding just a touch more blue to the third row. And again, more blue to the next row. And then I added some baby blue top dots to the gold center ring. And some eclipse top dots to the blue. And I kind of put those toward the edge of it um, to make more of a flower petal look. So this is what it looks like when it's done. I, I really like this combination. I thought it was very soft, very peaceful. It had the elements that I wanted. And I had tried this on a different canvas in a different combination that I ended up not liking at all. And if you follow me on my Facebook page, you know how much I hated that one. Uh, so I tried again and I did it in a different look. And this turned out really the way that I wanted it to. It had the right feel and um, I'm glad I kept working at it. Happy Easter, everyone. Thanks for watching.